Hey everybody, Chris Revis, Brand Specialist with Alpine Electronics. We're out here at CES in Las Vegas 2020. We're in the Alpine booth. I'm going to show you a little bit what uh, Alpine is going on for 2020. What we have new for 2020 is our ILX F411. This is our 11 inch Halo. This is based off of our 259 platform and the fact that it has three screens which are customizable. You pinch and hold, you got three pages, 22 widgets to customize this and make this radio yours, just like we all make our phones our own. This has HDMI input and it has an HDMI output, which means you can support your rear screens or headrests, uh, keep the kids entertained in the back. It also has a Maestro plug in, to, in the back with a future update. It's going to allow for Maestro capability. CarPlay and Android Auto look great on this thing because it's a nine inch screen. The icons are larger, easier to use while you're driving around. So it's all about safety. 11 inch screen with your back as a camera, you'll be able to see a lot better detail of what's going on behind you. So for 2020, it's our ILX F411. So these are a modular system. Uh, what it's going to be is if you want a single 10 or a single 12, you're going to go ahead and purchase that later on. You're going to do your upgrade path. You want a little bit more base. You can buy this bridging piece, buy another enclosure, and the two become one. So if you want a single 10 or 12, you want to move up to a dual setup. Buy the second one, buy the bridge piece, and put them together. It has a nice halo fit and finish. Um, this bridge piece ties everything together. And what's going to happen is on the actual production piece is this subwoofer is actually going to be recessed in there to give you uh, a nice flat front finish on that. So these are the bridge pieces here. The 10 and the 12, there also is the bracket on the back. So it's already recessed in, already has the screws tapped into the backs, put them together, not just the front, the back side's gonna hold it sturdy and strong for you. So last year we redid, we redid our, our, our series, okay? We had our mono, we had our four channel, and people are looking at us waiting for a multi-channel amplifier. Mm -hmm. The big news this year is we have a multi-channel amplifier in the family. This is actually a six channel amplifier. What's nice about this is this is a staggered power on channel five and six. What that means is you can run four speakers and then bridge the rear channel for a subwoofer. Or if you want to run three-way active up front, you have that capability. All the bandpass filters are built out to the side. You can actually run this without any crossover networks or without a processor. And that's actually what we have on display over here. So what's new for us this year? It does it have a MC is a third uh, three inch yeah. a la carte yeah. add-on yeah. option yeah. and this works with the R series or X series. So you can take your traditional component set, add the three inch into there, and now you got a three way active system, which is a perfect match for a six channel. And that's actually what we have running on the wall here is that amplifier with this crossovers. The back speakers ran off the uh, 411, and each amplifier is on the subwoofer. What we got here is our S series system. This is our our, uh, you know, your upgrade path, your new system builder. We have our 259, we have our uh, Halo knob mount on here. This is actually functional on our SA60M amplifier. So what we're showing here is our simple setup of a four channel amplifier on our speakers. We have our SA60M on this new SSB10B loader enclosure. And even for a single 10 inch subwoofer, this thing gets down. It sounds very good in the box. It's actually tuned to 35 hertz. So a lot more bass output than you would traditionally think a little 10 inch subwoofer is capable of. So as we continue along here, last year we had great success with our 0850S processor. Uh, people with more input and output capability maybe something easier to set up. So this year we got the X09. So what we're looking at is more newer cars getting more and more complicated to integrate with. This guy's going to allow us to do it. It actually has 16 inputs and 16 outputs. And that seems like a lot can be going on here. Uh, but with the, the PC app uh, or the phone app, uh, it's easy setup. How many speakers are coming in? How many speakers are going out? It's automatically going to do the mixing and crossover for you. Easy system integration with these higher end vehicles that are out there. A lot more system control. So as we move along here, this is kind of a recap. You know, we got our X-Series family. This is the, uh, the, the very clean sounding stuff. This is stuff we're putting on a processor. Materials we're using are giving the same uh, sound reproduction. Our series highlighted by our new six channel amplifier this year. Uh, Loudest family on the block. You want it loud, you want some good, deep, rich sound. That's going to be your R series. And S, these are our new, new guys looking at they, they know the Alpine name, looking for the best bang for the buck, and they're looking at Alpine. So we're giving them that with the S series. Now, what we got new for 2020 is very exciting. Is last year we introduced a power stacking uh, combo. Our shallow mount 
Let's see that's the nice Radio exactly. at our 450 amplifier. Well, we got a little bit of pushback to guys saying, why is this factory amplified system? Or I want to add bass. And we heard you. So we have this here. It's our KTA 200 m This is a mono amplifier that power stacks onto the back of our 650. It's ran at 200 watts, but using our DPP technology. It's actually performing as a 400 watt amplifier. So you can replace the radio, get your car plate, your Android Auto, put this amplifier onto the back, run a set of speaker wires to the back, power a subwoofer. So this will be a very exciting piece for us this year. It seeks you to uh, celebrate and give you a very easy upgrade to that. Also, as the, the plug into the back here, you can actually add a bass knob to this. So this is a good system building tool here. Once again, it'll dock onto the back of our 650. We're showing you here is kind of another simple setup using our power stacks. Let's get the 259. We've got a 450 power and our 4S series speakers. You can take this 200M to power a single uh, subwoofer. Yeah, you can use it with a baseline sub, you can use it with some of our preload enclosures, our S series. The single sound great, give you all the power that you need. So, we got here is our 970. This is a step up from the 960. We, this is this hit the field uh, about a couple months ago, and this is a huge improvement over, over the old piece. The first thing is it's got a bigger screen, which means it's good to do CarPlay and Android Auto. So still has your CD, DVD drive that a lot of people are looking for. Also has video output capability. Once again, for those rear screens, uh, headrests, or flip down, whatever. This also has an HDMI input and two camera inputs. So if you're trying to parallel park to the city, you got a camera on the front and rear, you can hook it up to this radio system. Pretty much going to be a catch-all for everything you're really looking at here. Another exciting thing that we got going on for 2020, uh, we're looking at safety. We got some dash cameras now. We have our 310, our 320. These both come with a rear camera included in there. The 310 is going to be a nice little stealthy installation up behind the mirror. It's going to give you that safety. Uh, we're going to have a deal with insurance in case of an accident. But we're all out there on the roads and we see everybody on their phones. Hopefully, you're not one of those guys. This is going to keep us protected and keep uh, everything in check. The 320 is going to be a nice step up. This is a hardware unit. And this is going to work with some of our limo platforms, which means I can make adjustments on my screen. I can uh, look at recordings, make sure my cameras are on right. It's also going to give us crash avoidance and lane departure. So we're taking that step from uh, just a traditional dash camera. Give me some safety. We kind of teased you guys with this piece last year. It's out now. Just hit out last month. This is our X409 solution from the JL Wrangler. It's got a nice fit and finish. It has a 9-inch screen. It's an actual 9-inch screen when you're in your car player and your auto. You're getting the full 9-inch screen versus some of your OEM stuff has some heater control. It comes with this trim piece that really ties the whole dash together. It's going to retain all those awesome features like the backup camera with the, the dynamic backup line. So, uh, and if you auxiliary switches, we're also going to be able to like add uh, our eight switcher, our KAC001. You're also going to get this new panel down here, which is going to give you two USB ones for charging, one for CarPlay and your auto. And you also have your HDMI input, so if you're looking at your streaming or anything else, you have some kind of device, you're able to do that as well. All your heater controls are retained and yeah, emulated via the Meister model. Oh, yeah. yeah. SPD 605 JLT. This is the new sound bar. You'll see this out later on this year. It's a simple solution. It's going to use our uh, weather resistant speakers. We're going to give you a 6 inch speaker with a tweeter. It's going to be an easy installation. You're going to have the same fit and finish as the resell unit, which takes the side of the from the inside of these new way uh, 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 Yeah, You'll see this out in the summer. Easy installation. Looks like it blocks your huge body upgrade. Lots more dynamic range level mid bass. So take the top off the Jeep, rock out. Especially to what we already have out there, which is our PSS 23 WRA. One of the biggest complaints with the Jeeps is that they can't hear the audio in the car, especially when they move the tops. This is a simple bolt in solution. Goes right under the seat. It's all designed for the vehicle. It's all TR. It's going to give you a little under seat bass. It's also got an amplifier for those internal speakers. It replaces those dash speakers with the actual tweeter, it gives you a lot of uh, clear highs, a lot more uh, sound reproduction, a lot more clarity, especially while it tops off. So you can add that sound bar to our PSS 23 to get one rocking system here. So if you don't have a chance to stop by see us this year, and maybe you want to see what we have going on, we do these awesome experience events. We are out and had 125 events last year. We're out and about giving you a chance to listen to what Alpine's all about. So once again, I'm Chris Revis from Alpine Electronics. Make sure you check out avleaders.com for all your Alpine goods.